Fox News capturing dramatic video showing a long line of migrants crossing the Rio Grande River to enter Texas. Scenes similar to this have some Texas leaders calling on Governor Greg Abbott to declare an invasion in his state. The governor set to address the growing fentanyl crisis stemming from an unsecured border when he speaks a little bit later on this afternoon. Mark Burnovich is the Arizona Attorney General and a Republican Senate candidate. He's calling on Governor Doug Ducey of Arizona to do the same thing regarding an invasion. Let's get to that in just a moment, uh, Mr. Attorney General. And good to have you, Thank you uh, here in the studio in Washington, by the way. Even but first of all... Better in person than you do on TV, so everyone knows. <laughs> I never know how to take that when people say that. Um, let me just go back to that video that we just showed there in the, in the introduction, because back in 2014, I was covering the border crisis during the Obama administration, and we'd see people come across in ones and twos, maybe groups of 10. I think the largest group we ever saw was 15. They're coming through in, by the hundreds now, and this group apparently is being led by guides from the cartels. This is changing the whole paradigm of illegal migration. Yeah, and th this is what sometimes folks don't understand, is that so in this last 14 months, about 3 million people have illegally entered our country. It's like the entire population of Kansas. And, you know, this month we're expecting the numbers to be about maybe 250,000, which is seven times the numbers from June of 2020. So we're seeing a record amount of people cross, which is straining our social services. But what you alluded to, the cartels have seized operational control. We in Arizona, we've never seen the price of fentanyl fall this dramatically. In the last 14 months, it's gone from 20 bucks a pill to about $5 a pill. And that means someone's son, daughter, niece or nephew will die. So we're seeing this huge supply of fentanyl coming in. And China is supplying those precursor, precursor chemicals to the cartels. So we will all be paying the cost for that. And to the control room, I want to bring up call up number three here, jump ahead, because we've got some numbers on fentanyl seizures. So far in fiscal year 20 2022, 7,745 pounds have been seized of fentanyl. Uh, overall, last year was 11,203. We're running a little bit ahead, not much, but a little bit ahead of the pace last year. But look at it in comparison to fiscal year 20 and 19. The numbers are way, way up. But these cartels are clearly taking advantage of what they believe is a, is a very vulnerable and porous border. Oh, absolutely, because we know what happens is you'll have groups of migrants come in, they're bringing their luggage, their carry-ons, I and mean, you'll get more of a hassle going to the airport with TSA than they are. And then Border Patrol has to process them, and the cartels take advantage of that by having the mules and other folks, you know, come across the border with their loads. And so, I once again, for context, two milligrams, like a couple grains of salt, can be fatal when it comes to fentanyl. So we talk about thousands and thousands of pounds. Just last month, there was enough fentanyl seized to kill the entire population of the state of Arizona. I mean, so th this is why this is so important, because it's not only enriching the cartels, but it's putting American lives in danger. And we have even touched on people on the terror watch list and people from right. you know, countries like Iran and Pakistan that are coming across our border unchecked and being released into our communities. And in fact, you cited a person who was c captured at the border who was on the terror watch list in a letter that you wrote to Governor Doug Ducey saying, look, I think that we've got the groundwork here uh, to declare this an invasion. Similar talk is going on in Texas. Governor Abbott is thinking about doing it. Listen to what Governor Abbott said of uh, Sunday f Futures uh, over the past weekend. We, we know about 42 terrorists who have been apprehended coming across the border. And there's the fentanyl coming across the border. We do have uh, an invasion driven by the cartels coming across our border uh, that are pouring people into our country at unprecedented levels. Now, he has yet to declare an invasion. Governor Ducey has yet to declare an invasion. But how would declaring an invasion change the situation on the ground? Well, you know, in the Constitution, the federal government is supposed to guarantee, you know, and protect the states from invasion and guarantee a Republican form of government. And when they don't do that, when the states do have a right to defend themselves, because the states created the federal government, not the other way around. So when a state declares an invasion, that allows them to engage in self-defense measures. So that means they can erect defensive barriers, for example. They can make sure people go through ports of entry, as you saw Governor Abbott trying to do earlier. But maybe most importantly, you can deploy the National Guard you can employ state law enforcement resources to stop, deter, apprehend, and then repatriate or expel people um, that are part of that invasion. So why has Governor Ducey resisted so far? I don't know. I think that I think for a lot of folks that the notion, that word invasion, they worry about it. They worry that it's kind of a loaded word and, oh my gosh, we're going to inflame passions. But the reality is, is look, I'm a first generation American. People want to come here because the rule of law has to mean something. And I can't tell you, John, how many people like my mom, her friends from countries like Poland, Yugoslavia, Hungary, 
they're just shocked by what's happening because they had to do it the right way. No one was giving them free hotel rooms and sending them all over the country in airplane. There, there's a process. And right now, you not only have disorder chaos, but it's dangerous. It's dangerous because the cartels and the gangs have seized operational control of our southern border. All right. Attorney General Mark Burnovich of Arizona, good to see you in Washington. Thank you. Good to see you in person as well. Thanks. See you again soon. Thanks, Thanks. Senator.